Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another MLP AU. Today, we are looking at My Little Toothache by Unicornic, which is one of the most popular, in majority opinion, of course, AUs out there. Now, I don't know too much about it, so I'm just going to assume it's just a little toothache. Trigger warning. I have been hungry. Is that Pinkie Pie? What? 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 Dude, that was so well done. Okay, there. Okay, I really, I really appreciate it when uh. And stuff sinks to music like this. That part right there just fits so well, dude. Let's take a closer look at that. She sees the, or they see the corpse. I don't know who they are technically. And then they go in for the bite, dude. They're staring it down. So I'm guessing, so far, whoever that is, has been roaming around for a long time without anything to actually eat. Twilight? Oh my god. Do you blame yourself? Well, it's quite common in this situation for a patient to feel a kind of guilt. What situation? The accident. It's very common for people to invent, blame, or create a causality when in reality... Oh my god. It was completely out of your control. Oh my god. Dude. Dude, that was so that was so good. That was so cool. God dude. No, I can see why a lot of people like this. They look so angry. Poor little dude. Everyone always look at you that way. Oh no. Or why? Hold up, hold on, Twy. I'm not ready yet. We'll get we'll get you here in a second. Okay. Due to stress and lack of sleep, Twilight's magic sometimes fails or comes out in short, shaky splutters. She keeps a knife on her at all times, so she's not left defenseless when this happens. My god, Twilight's ready for Aurora. Spike. At the start of the outbreak, Twilight tried to send him to the Dragonlands for his own safety, but he refused. Stayed in Ponyville's safe hold working as Twilight's lab assistant. However, when Twilight suddenly became more paranoid, he lost that role. Twilight won't let him leave, won't let him near her lab slash specimens. She makes sure someone has eyes on him at all times. Twilight's paranoia is starting to rub off on him. Very anxious and with how much Twilight emphasis is that he's not allowed out has become a bit of a recluse. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Infected do not hold up well in the rain, as the water causes their flesh and bones to dissolve and advance to the stage of decay. The safest time to leave the safe hold is during slash just after the rain. So that's what we saw in that prologue. 
AJ grows her crops within a greenhouse tent. Think of the greenhouses as, in, my god, in Iceland, controlled environments with lights installed inside, powered by a magical generator. I did not know that. That is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I, I was unaware of this. Ponyville safe hold, lab tent, medical tent, crop greenhouse, guards at entrance, constant Pegasi patrol. See, this is this is what would happen. This makes so much sense. It might take them a while to get the fence set up, but in reality, though, this should be the end result of a outbreak for the ponies. At least in the, the Ponyville area. Well, unless it's very rapid and quick and, you know, all sorts of other factors and whatnot. Whatever happens, it is what it is. Finding safe cleaning water is especially hard for the safe hold. While as much as possible is scavenged from the remains of town, after some time, these resources stop providing anything. Currently, the safe hold is surviving off of collected water from the stream outside of Fluttershy's cottage. Any pony sent on trips to collect water must be trained in self-defense. Dr. Hooves. Status is healthy. In Ponyville Safehold, skilled engineer used his abilities to set up the crop greenhouse with Applejack, helping Twilight research a cure. Hopes Derpy is safe and alive. Nurse Redheart. Status, healthy. She, she's not even Red Heart now. In Ponyville safe hold, bit by a patient while treating them, had to amputate the leg, prosthetic built by Dr. Hooves, surely slash grumpy, not the caring slash patient nurse most ponies would like, but she does her job well trained several ponies in basic medical training so they could help her. The great and powerful Trixie. Status is healthy. Came to the safe hole later due to being on tour when the outbreak began. Given medical training by Red Heart. Mrs. Starlight, but trying not to show it. I enjoyed that little segment. <laughs> Wait, 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 why did it start at the second slide? Oh, Dear Princess Luna, Luna, please. Cloud, Skull, equals Discord. So did Luna go missing? Luna stopped responding? Ponyville closed off? Environmental storytelling is very, very awesome, if you can do it. Like this, this is giving me so many questions. Poor Twy, poor Rainbow. Do, 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 do. No, wait, see, why did it start over here? Stage zero is healthy. Was in Ponyville safe hold. Get him, Lyra! Stage one, first infection. Cope becomes more saturated, radiating out from initial infection site. Eyes become bloodshot. Hair and fur begins falling out. Dramatic weight loss. Fever, chills, paranoia. Rainbow mucus beginning to collect in mouth, still entirely conscious, although possibly delirious from stress and the fever. This stage can last anywhere from just a few hours to two to three days. If caught early enough, the victim can still be saved if the afflicted area is removed and amputated. Left Ponyville safe hold at this stage. I actually think this is really cool. A vibrant infection site. Very awesome. 
Stage 2, The First Rot. Coat continues to brighten, begins giving off a faint glow. Skin begins melting away, starting with where the infected was first bitten. Eyeball often becomes dislodged and falls out at this stage. Jaw dislocates, cotton candy beginning to form from open wounds. Shadows beginning to take over parts of the body. Rainbow mucus worsens, blood remains pink. Wings and horns, typically still intact at this stage, can use magic and fly as normal. At this stage, the pony is still semi-conscious. However, their animalistic sides are beginning to take over. Arguably the most dangerous at this stage as they are very flighty slash aggressive as they try and fight off the infection. Can no longer be saved. Bon Bon? Uh oh. See, you always gotta think about that. If you get bitten anywhere on the head, neck, the trunk of the body, you're screwed. You can't just amputate your neck. I mean, you can, you can amputate your neck, but you ain't going to be living. <laughs> That's why it has to be, if you're going to get bitten anywhere, it has to be on the arms or the legs. Even then, though, realistically, a disease is already going to be everywhere by the time you get bitten, I'm pretty sure. Because crud spreads so fast inside the body. Stage 3, Advanced Rot. But that's why it's fiction. Safety Notice. Do not eat any part of any infected. Consequences currently unknown. Body split down the middle with one side completely in shadows. Previous symptoms continue to worsen. Most skin is gone at this point. Bones are much more brittle and dusty, like powdered sugar and chalk. Internal organs begin hanging out, but at this stage, they appear to be strawberry laces, completely dead. No longer conscious as mm, such, they tend to be less aggressive. The only instinct left being hunger. Nothing seems to satiate them. Dude. Doppelganger. Danger, danger, danger. That's very spooky and cool, though. That's different. Stage 4. Decay. Final stage. Body parts fall off and disintegrate until all that's left is a pile of cotton candy mush and begins to lose glow. Still contagious at this stage. Do not approach. Bonbon? Bon? Poor Bon Bon. Oh, see, why is it start over there? Why? <laughs> uh. Princess Luna, status healthy. Current ruler, temporary, leads the largest safe hold in Equestria within Canterlot Castle. Tells citizens and Twilight that Celestia went missing when really she's keeping infected. Celestia locked in the castle dungeons. Feels like she has to help her sister, just like she'd helped her. Equestria is permanently in night. Eye bags because she's stress- because she's stressing. Scars across her face where Celestia attacked her, not bites, now wears armor to protect herself. Princess Twilight, status, stressed but healthy. Runs a safe hold in Ponyville, initially allowed anyone not visibly infected in, but after one broke in, she rarely allows anyone new in, focuses on protecting who she can instead, scavenges and defends by day, researches a cure by night. Doesn't really sleep, keeps writing to Luna, but rarely gets an answer, eventually gives up and decides they're on their own now. Stressed and grumpy, stubborn, and very paranoid. If you show signs of infection, she will not hesitate to take action. Almost entirely lost faith 
in the magic of friendship. Weapon for self-defense. Blood from infected often on hooves. Scars and eye bags. Rainbow Dash. Status. Healthy. In the Ponyville safe hold, emotionally shut down after the outbreak, doesn't speak much. However, she's still fiercely loyal, wants to protect each of the main six, and is particularly vigilant about finding Fluttershy. Practically glued to Twilight's side, tends to go along with her plans considering her... considered her lackey. Scavenges and defends for the safe hold. Lots of scars. Plus, usually has blood on her hooves like Twilight. Tries to get Twilight to sleep. Fails most of the time. Rarity. Status. Early stage 1 infection. In Ponyville's stronghold with her sister, bit when returning to her boutique for supplies, now stays inside at all times, hiding the bite from Twilight. She knows it's wrong, but with how paranoid Twy has become, she's afraid to reveal it. Only one that knows right now is Applejack, who is determined to protect her. At this stage, still savable, but would need amputation before it spreads. Twilight wouldn't really kill a best friend. Would she? Area around Bite becoming more saturated and glowing. Applejack, status healthy. Apple Bloom's bow. Keeps medical bag of medical supplies on hand and muddy hooves. <laughs> In Ponyville Safehold, offered up Sweet Apple Acres Barn is the location responsible for keeping a food supply. Growing what little crops she can. Lost Apple Bloom. Big Mac and Granny Smith hates the way Twilight is running things, believes they should lit in any pony not visibly infected, beginning to grow resentful of her in general. While out working the fields, she tries to help any survivors she finds, even if she can't bring them back to the shelter. After losing her whole family, determined to keep Rarity secret so she doesn't lose her too. All traces of honesty are gone. Needs to lie to survive. Pinkie Pie status? Malnourished. Left Ponyville stronghold after Twilight became too paranoid. Now roaming Ponyville slash the Everfree Forest, looking for Fluttershy. Pinkie's sense keeps her generally well protected from the infected. However... Without permanent shelter and food supply, in danger of starvation. Looking for a new group of survivors. Celestia. One half always in shadows, other appears rotting. Status, late stage three infection. Pink blood and cotton candy? Oversaturated colors, strawberry laces, guts, rainbow mucus. Patient Zero, prevented from entering final stage of decay due to high amount of magic in body. Was found by Luna pretty early, but not before biting a few ponies. Luna keeps her locked up in the castle, determined to bring her back. Beyond saving, but shoes some behaviors, shows some behaviors that Luna interprets as her sister still being in there. Appears perfectly split down the middle. Discord. Status unknown. Fluttershy. Status unknown. Unable to use the elements of harmony without her. I like this AU. This is a good one. Oh my god, don't look. Don't look, anyone. Okay, I've heard enough of that. <laughs> Trigger warning for gore next slide. 
Oh god, please tell me it's not gonna be like each member of the family getting got. Are these cotton candy laces alive? Please tell me they're not. Poor granny. Oh my god. Oops, don't look, don't look, don't look everyone, don't look! No. No, no, no. Trixie and Starlight showed up to the safe hold several months ago when Twilight was still accepting newcomers. They had been on one of Trixie's tours when the outbreak began. Once in their safe hold and recovered from their journey, the two appeared to be in high spirits. Starlight was anxious, but Trixie's light-hearted attitude helped to calm her nerves. Trixie trained in medicine with Redheart, while Starlight went out on patrols and occasionally helped Twilight with her research. But then, Starlight was gone. Twilight told everyone that Starlight had been bitten while on an early patrol, and had turned within minutes, and consequently, cast out. Twilight then made the decision to no longer allow in newcomers. Trixie had never had high opinions of Twilight to begin with, but now they were even lower. She resented her for not doing more to protect Starlight, and for not even letting her say goodbye before casting her out. And Twilight doesn't blame her. Yeah, 2K! Yeah, let's go! Give it up for 2K! Live on TikTok. Dang, dude. This was so long ago. It's crazy. Time flies. Alright, I can groove to that. Ignore everything. You all don't see anything. Actually, no, nah, I'm just gonna leave it off. Why the heck? At the start of the outbreak, spirits were high. Although Twilight and AJ were particularly nervous, but they had faced many world-ending disasters before, and Fluttershy was sure to show up any day now. Dash? Dash? Are you there? Oh no, that's Scootaloo, isn't it? But after losing so many loved ones, that hope disappeared. Rainbow Dash shut down after this. The group was becoming more and more divided, and Dash seemed to care less and less. It seemed as though she didn't care about anything. Almost anything. Dang, bro, that Twy Dash relationship be working out. Dude, that actually rolls very well. Dude, yeah, that's crazy. Oh. I'm just gonna leave it off. Dear Princess Twilight, I hope you're doing well. It's been a few months since we spoke, but I'm sure Princess Hood has you busy. Hopefully not too busy. Though I'm excited for our next visit soon. Everyone has been asking about you and I can't wait to hear about your exciting adventures in Equestria. We're due for a good uh, catch-up session. All the best, your faithful student, Sunset Shimmer. Uh-oh. Dear Princess Twilight, hey, I'm sorry to bother you. I know you... I know how busy you must be. I just thought you might need to know about some. T 
technical difficulties on our end. The portal is closed. I tried to come through for our visit, which I hope is still on, and when I tried, it was... gone. Our magic seems to work, although we've tried several ways of reopening the portal with it to no luck. Maybe a wire has tripped on your end. Either way, let me know, and don't work too hard. Your faithful student, Sunset Shimmer. Dear Princess, I'm not sure what's going on over there, but given the portal is still closed, I'm going to assume it isn't just a tripped wire. I'm sure you're off dealing with whatever it is and can handle it yourself, but don't hesitate to reach out if you need help. Things are... slow here. So, I'm more than happy to help you. I need a little adventure right now, but like I said, you've probably got this, haha. All the best, Sunset Shimmer. Twilight, where are you? Are you alive? I need to know what's happening in Equestria, please, or just to know you're alive. Sunset. Not Sunset Shimmer. Sunset Shimmer. The portal is open. Please come, Twilight. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God, no. No. That is well done. I love that freaking plot idea. That is such a good plot idea. The tote portal is open. Come now. Oh my god. That is the most Z Perf Dr. Zomboss thing I've ever seen. <laughs> the zombies are coming. Oh no. Oh god no. Sunset Shimmer, status is healthy, wants to know what's going on, a little excited, wants adventure. I know the voice is a real, but man, they come up with some great- that's so true though. That is so relatable. AJ? Sunset Shimmer? Dude, I, I figured this was AJ. <laughs> I didn't realize here at first, but like this, this part just imposes AJ energy. Dang. Oh, dude, I'm not gonna lie. The FNAF movie opening hits hard. Twilight, Twilight, I got your message. I'm here to... Help. Help? What on earth happened here? Twilight? Spike? Anyone? Where is everyone? And shouldn't it be daytime right now? Oh my god. Well, I want to go back to the start of this one. Dude. Dude. I- Oh my god. Help. I, I just want to take a quick look.
Hold on. The big Atlanta. Honeyville. So I trace from giant. Okay. <laughs> That's understandable. So did AJ not save them? What happened? Oh my god, dude, that- No, it's over! Oh god, I just realized it's over! God dang, that's a- that's a buzz kill. God, dude, I was enjoying that. I was hooked. I was hooked. You had me. You had me. God. Oh, that's a bummer. <laughs> I was enjoying that so much. Yeah, let's- let's look at some artwork. Prizes. Oh my god, a little art competition. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, I wanna I wanna just take one more quick look. <laughs> Dude, that is beautiful. I love that. I absolutely love that. So oh I, I don't know why this turn that happened. That's been happening on a lot of these for me lately. I don't know why. Anyway. Wow. My little toothache. That was definitely worth it. That was very good. I absolutely enjoyed that. That was a treat. Absolutely delicious. Full course meal right there. God. Can't wait to read more of that later on. If, you know. Well, yeah, probably more will come out. Anyways. As always, folks, you can find this in the link in the description down below. And I will catch you folks later.